Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. So basically today we are going to see about IR sensor, infrared sensor. So what is this infrared sensor? The picture you are seeing is nothing but an infrared sensor a kit, a module. Okay. So this module, how it is made and what are the pins and what is the logic we will be getting from this, we will be seeing in this video. In my next video, we will be seeing practically the what are the logic it gives. And next video we will be doing one of the project by using this IR sensor. So without wasting time, let us start. So we have two here, two IR, two you can see two IR sensors or you can see like one is a transparent bulb and one is a black color bulb. So this white is nothing but your transmitter. This transmit your IR waves, IR waves and this receives your IR waves. So what happens when it is transmitting the waves and hits to an, any object then it again the echo is coming back means nothing but we are getting an its echo back then this this bulb will absorb that by using this phenomena we are going to detect any obstacle present in front of this IR sensor or not so that thing can be done by using this or we can use line detection robot also because one of the thing of this IR sensor is if we keep this IR sensor if it is it falls on black surface if this IR rays falls on a black surface then black surface will absorb this IR rays and it never reflect back so it we never get this reflection so what we can do if uh, we will be keeping a white surface in between a black surface in white surface we will get a reflection if it is touching the black then reflection will not be getting so it will be not be getting then we will detect that there is a black color line then we can say it to move uh, say the robot to move left or right depending upon the instructions okay so that is the thing we can able to do with this and for more information i have gone to google and i have to say that the distance it can detect is 2 to 30 centimeters note, note it down 2 to 30 centimeters and the detection angle is 35 degrees and we are using a comparator chip which I will be showing you and we have a 3mm screw hole for easy molding. So what all this we will be seeing. So LM393 chip nothing but see this is a comp this is this is a LM393 chip nothing but it is a comparator and it is a potentiometer where we can easily adjust the voltage depending upon the voltage we get the output. So here we have a VCC which should be connected to our Arduino board and ground to be connected to the Arduino board and the output wherever you see a comparator you will be getting a digital logic okay from now onwards in my every video if you see a comparator then think that we will get a digital logic in any Arduino board Arduino board if you do any Arduino projects if you use a comparator there is a comparator present in here in any module then you can, you can easily tell that if we get an output of digital logic so similarly we get a digital logic of 0 or 1 if an if any nothing if any object is pressed in front of this ir then we can tell that there is an object and it gives a logic 1 or else it gives a me a logic 0 okay so that is the basical thing we by this ir this ir sensor do in my next video we will be seeing whether it gives logical 1 or not 0 we will be seeing both programming as well as our connections too okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day if you have any doubts depending upon ir sensor you can comment below feel free to contact me thank you